Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the Zero Mission playthrough. And today we're going to start by heading down further in, through Norfair. And I'm going to head towards um, Ridley. So. Um, normally you're not supposed to go to Ridley, you should be going to Crate first, but, you know, it's whatever. I don't really care. Um, well, I do care, but, yeah, we're able to do what we want, because I've got, obviously gotten in different order than what I want to, so. Or, not that I want to. I want to go in a weird order, because that's what makes this game fun, so. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Oh, crap. Um, so first of all, I mentioned in the first part that the grip grab didn't come back until, what was it? I mentioned Prime 3 and was in Fusion, but it was also in Samus Returns and in Other M. So, there's that. I gotta remember. Alright, okay. We're heading in the right direction. Um, and so, like I said, I'm going to do stuff out of order. I'm going to do uh, Ridley first, um, which is fine. Um, because honestly, Ridley isn't that difficult unless you're playing on hard mode or um, doing the 15% or less run, um, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. But we're going to go ahead save for you right now okay yeah there's a lot of invisible or uh, fake lava pits in Norfair um, but most of the time if you can fall through it usually means that you're good to go so okay this is what we want kill this bad boy Woo! Got him just in time. And this room is set up in a certain way, which you'll find out when we get this item, which is the wave beam. So the properties of the wave beam are that it allows the Samus's beam to pass through objects. Um, we've actually got all of the beams in the game, so we're good to go on that front. Yay! Even though they're not super powerful in this game. And now you can kind of see it does that little thing, and it's just going to plow right through this wall, and this guy can't do anything, but look how many sh shots it takes to kill him because it's obnoxious. Um, so anyways, we got that. And now we're going to continue on um, past the save point, because now, um, I kind of saw it last part, and I entered the room and said, ooh, that'll be fun. Um, we're going to find out that there is a room that just frickin' has got worms all over the place and the wave beam is gonna do some nice um do a nice job against them so i think i can do this room uh, this is gonna be tricky Oh, hold on, I can't do it this way because I don't have the right stuff. Mm, that sucks. Okay, so we're going to have to backtrack. So what happens when you haven't played for a while. Um, basically, you just realize that the way that the game's made, you're supposed to be able to just... I can't just... Shoot. You're just supposed to be able to... Um, Use the speed booster to plow right through that area, but you can't, so we'll have to go the other round. Unless I can take this way, I can't remember. Maybe I can. Well, I have to be able to take this way to get that tank, so. Either way, um, yeah, we're not gonna, 
You have to take a little bit longer route because I don't have the speed booster right now, which is fine. Because um, we will get it no matter what after we deal with Kraid. It's just kind of annoying because you gotta. That's why some of the stuff it's like, eh. Um, a lot of these routes are meant for like the. Um, like I was mentioning earlier, the. Uh, like the 15% or less route. And what that is, is um, they basically made it so that it's possible to have Samus get the least amount of items possible in order to beat the game. Um, which, though it's 15% or less, um, I believe you only need like 10% of the items. Though, depending on certain... Ver oh no, I can't go that way because that's got the super missile. Um, I think in this version it's 10%, maybe the PAL version it was 9%, and the reason why is because there's a certain missile block, and um, for hard mode at least, and it actually disappears so you don't have to worry about it, otherwise in this mode it keeps regenerating each time so you need more missile tanks, um, so you need like one more set of missile tanks. But I've done the 15% route once before. Um, it is not fun at all. It's pretty garbage. I don't know why I was bothering shooting them. But um, yeah, it's pretty much garbage. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that you're like, ah, oh, this isn't too bad. And then you're very much ill-equipped to deal with most of the issues. So uh, you come to realize, like I mentioned, that Ridley isn't that difficult. But, honestly, when you have to deal with the crap, um, when you don't have much room for error, you're kind of in deep shit. So, um, yeah, it's all about playing a more defensive game, I guess. You Kind of like Dark Souls. Um, funny how that works. Okay, so now because of that, we can go down this way. I can't go through that route because the, um, because that's where the worm thing is. The way I don't think I can, I can't shoot through his shell. I don't think. No, not yet. Might be able to with the plasma beam though. So. So anyways, we're just going to go to the save point. Um, this is the way now to Ridley. We're back on track. So um, I have good amount of missiles. I just don't have that great amount of energy tanks. But there are actually a few in Ridley. Um, so we're going to kind of make up for it. And there's only 14, I want to say. It's 14 tanks in the game. Maybe I'm wrong by my numbers. Possibly. Possibly. And now we get a mini boss, yay! So, kind of doing this wrong, but whatever. They basically want you to be able to use the zoomer there to um, freeze whatever you need to freeze. And then that way you can keep plowing into them. I'm just going to cheat that way and just do some nifty jumps. It takes care of that guy. Yep, he's just sitting there. There's no way he's ever going to be able to get out of that hole. He's not breathing or anything. I lied. Um. So yeah, this is the stair, or this is the elevator to Ridley. Oh, we do get this cutscene. Okay, I was thinking of the one cutscene where it just shows him on the ship, but we still get this nifty cutscene. Which, honestly, what the hell's the difference? But we get to see their mothership, the Space Pirates giant ship landing. 
with good old Ridley and his ear piercing scream. So yeah, um, so there's actually two routes. Um, to the right is normally just an exit route. However, if you're doing the low percentage way, there is a roundabout that you can use to get through there pretty easily. Um, what you kind of notice right now. Oh, there he is. He managed to fall down. How about that? Hmm. Can't really go anywhere. And we can't go through that door. So I guess we're just going to have to go back, right? Right? You can hear the suspense in my voice. Because it's a real humdinger, let me tell you. Okay. So obviously he's not in that hole anymore. So now we can continue down this hole. And you see there's just kind of glass tube around there. Um, which the glass tube isn't going to really serve much of a purpose for... Oh boy, he's escaped. And what's happened? Oh no. What's going on? There's little egg things everywhere. This isn't good. Oh, well, we took care of that real quick. Um, yeah, he's supposed to be a mini-boss, um, which he flew up that way, but he's going to try to kamikaze, and he just dies. And with his death, we get super missiles. Yay! Super missiles are worth five missiles. Um, they come in increments of two, um, which is kind of funny, because in... Hard mode missile tanks come in increments of two as well, and then super missiles just come in increments of one. So it's like you get one, you get one every single time. And of course, you don't even get to use it. Um, to switch between missiles, you just hit the select button. Which is funny because I was holding the right shoulder button and select, and it also save stated. So. It's kind of nifty. I'll just have to remember to hit select without doing that. Because that's kind of stupid. Whatever. Either way. It's better than reloading a state, so. Alright, now we can continue on. We got these weird owl robot thingies. I don't know what's going on. Um, secret passage. We don't have to deal with that thing, even though, honest to God, we've got super missiles, or we've got this. Um, be very weary. There is a pit in the middle there. There we go. Um, and you can kind of see there's a guy that was crawling out, so I managed to jump in time, get the energy tank. We're good to go on that front. Otherwise, you just fall down there, which I think we're going to have to do anyways. Um... Once again, this is, you can kind of see the sprites are kind of glitching through there. There's a bunch of enemies in here. Um, you kind of just realize that a lot of this, sh oh good. Um, there's a lot of like, Norfair and Ridley, there's a lot of crap that it's like, here's a bunch of illusionary stuff. It's like, but why? It's just, doesn't even, why do you have to be so deceiving, damn it? Save room. And honestly, Ridley's area isn't that big at all, so um, we're not going to have to worry too much about avoiding stuff. I think I can get that missile tank right. Yeah, of course I can. I'm going to go back up there. This was a horrible, horrible mistake. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, okay, so that's, this is basically the hallway that if you fell, you would have had to gone through, back through there, so. Which I'm gonna have to go back through hell. Once again, this is a horrible, horrible mistake. Why do I keep doing it? Cool. Should have never even gone through there. How about that? This is a, sp yeah, speed thingy. This is a spot where we can kind of re-energize stuff. I should re-energize a little bit because I need to, you know when you're fighting bosses obviously missiles just proceed to just browbeat enemies um, and you can kind of see from the map the gray area is where the normal route is anything that's green on the map is where um, those are like extra routes that don't show up in map rooms but honestly it doesn't make that big of a difference um in terms of, that really doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, there's not that many green rooms, I guess, for this area compared to like um, other sections of the game. So, no. But you can kind of see how the designers planned out all of this because it's like, well, you know, you're able to just speed on through. Um, if you've got certain items, you know, in different order, you're able to just plow on through and not have to worry too much. Um, though, of course, the screw attack kind of screws stuff up, funny enough, because um, sometimes you just break through blocks and it's like, yeah, well, what can you do? Can't really... I think it's the room above. Not that I have much choice, since obviously that's the way to the boss room. And we've got another one of these strange looking blocks, which of course we don't have any items to take care of it. Because they each have different symbols. I think what happens is if I felt down there, I would end up in that room, that green room, and then have to walk all the way back. So let's not do that. Or we can, and I can just... Oh, yeah, okay. I got you now. Okay, so if you fall through, you can just get back up that way. See, there's so many things to explore. And then sometimes you get punished for exploring. How dare you explore in a game that you don't know what's going on? Oh shit, but I did. There is an item there. Oh, there we go. Ha ha! So tank. Good. I'm not going to worry too much about health right now. Um, like I said, missiles are probably more important than anything. Um, but health-wise, we actually get... Um, there is an energy tank right before the boss that you get. Um, that you usually only just skip a few. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Hopefully I can do this. Whoops. Accidentally paused myself. 
that's always good. Um, oh, we're fine anyways. So I can go back this way. Oh, we're gonna have to go back that route. Anyways, which I don't even understand what the hell is the point, so whatever. Um, because that's our exit basically from this area. These doors aren't so bad in this game. Um, not like in frickin' Fusion where they're just awful. Cool. Alright, well, it's got Ridley in there, but I don't see him. And we get our other unknown item. This time it's for the suit. Thing inconclusive. Alright, well, that's fun horrific. This tank here. Oh, I guess there's only 12. There's only 12 energy tanks in this game, so 14 is for the Prime series. I think it's 14 for the other games as well, but. Alright, well, we got our items and everything. Nobody's here. Of course, the camera just shifted up. That's not to think of anything. care of that. I guess I took a little bit more damage than I should have. I don't remember getting grabbed in a hell of a long time, but whatever, so. And yay, so those mysterious statues that we saw for like a brief, like half a second, back in, um, Brentstar, one of them woke up. Goody. And just like that, we can recharge. And of course, you'll notice in the map area, Ridley's no longer there, it's just a giant X box. Wink, wink. I don't know why I just said wink, wink, but whatever. Okay, so now we can escape Ridley. Um, so yeah, what I decided I wanted to do for this playthrough is I'm just going to go and we're going to um, I'm just going to go and Losing train of thought. Losing train of thought. Um, I'm just going to play through like normal. Um, not worrying about 100% right now. I can go under here. Get another E-tank. See? That's like three E-tanks in this area alone. It's like, oh, I see everybody else was skimping out for this. So, so now we got five, which... Honest to God, is more than enough to deal with Crade when we get to there. We can use that, go up here. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play through the game like normal. Um, not worry about 100%. Um, and then we'll just get to it when we get... Or we'll just keep going... Um, um, after I beat the game, we'll probably worry about getting, like, all the items and stuff like that.
when I beat the game the first time. Because when you beat the game the first time and you don't have all the items, um, the game proceeds to give you like a chest list thing. It drops you off basically back to the at where you last saved, and it goes, "Oh, here's a checklist now." Um, you know, here's all the items that you missed and everything. So, hopefully we can still beat the game in a pretty decent amount of time. Um. So. go hit hit save i'm not gonna make this episode as long as the last one so um there we go so anyways thanks for joining me for part two um part three we're gonna head out of ridley we're gonna proceed back to brenstar um and then from there we'll go ahead and get to crade and then from there um the last area or mother brains area is right out of brenstar so really we've kind of made it to the farthest regions we're going to work our way back towards the last area and crate is on the way and that's just a lot more convenient so all right well you guys take care and have a good rest of your day night whenever you're watching this see you later